Stalemate. A situation in which further action or progress between opposing or competing parties seem impossible. Now that's just from me doing a Google search. And I now know what stalemate means. Uh, anybody who has a cell phone could put that in and find out what stalemate means. And uh, apparently our president, you know, even though he was ill-informed, but as, as he, they keep saying, he was ill-informed, uh, didn't understand what stalemate meant. If you're in a stalemate, that means you can't advance, nor can your enemy advance. You're equally matched. Whatever you're doing, you got them at bay. Whether it's a moat around your castle or planes in the air, they can't cross, they can't get to the next step. Neither can you. So what possess you to extract American troops from a situation where it's a damn stalemate. I got more. And televise it. What the? Sometimes I really do think America is playing for the other team. I really do think that sometimes they're playing with the, the for the other team because no no football coach on the planet will ever give the opposing team the playbook. All right, I know nothing about foreign policy or anything like that, so I'm not going to uh, pretend to know. But what I can say is this. If you are so heavily invested like the American people were in this situation, you don't just up and walk away. You just don't do that. Now, I know a lot of people scream and shout, yes, we got to get out of Afghanistan. We got to get out of Afghanistan. I understand the fear and frustration of not seeing your loved ones and stuff like that. I get that. I respect it. But we are way heavily invested in this thing. And guess what? We just threw away lives, countless lives, and almost a trillion dollars. And now we're about to throw away more lives trying to evacuate which it could have been, this could have been avoided if we had the right dude in the the White House. But you know, we already know that that was that that's that that ship has sailed. We can't even talk about that no more. We got to deal with what we got to deal with. So I'm here to tell Mr. Biden, President Biden, step down, sir. You don't know what the hell you're doing. Step down. Just like you asked, just like you asked Cuomo, we're asking you to step the heck down because you are not equipped to run America. Do you have any idea what our allies might be thinking right now? You just showed how weak you are, whether you're weak or compromised because you keep getting your son, keep, he keep misplacing his laptops. If you believe that crap, his freaking laptops was stolen, dang it. Somebody drugged his ass up because he's a drug freaking fiend and just took and just walked in, took his laptop. Just like you what's the, the parable in um in the Bible about that. Uh, the guy, I forget his name, Samson, I think the dude that had the uh, he was the uh, the Nazarite and he got he 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 drew his power from his hair and he was dealing with this prostitute, apparently. And she uh, kept asking what was the 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 source of his power. And he kept coming up with some cockamamie reason. And then, you know, he put, she puts him to sleep. We all know how men, men get pushed to sleep by women, right? We, we know what went down, you know, the, the Bible trying to be, you know, discreet, but we know exactly what happened, you know, and it, 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 hey, man, look, you know, I, we've all been there once or twice, but when he wakes up, he finds that every single time she says she's going, um, she, um, he gives her a way to 
uh, uh, oh, she, every time he tells her about his power, he finds out that she tried to see if it worked and he breaks through the chains or whatever, the ropes or whatever. And then she starts to cry and he, and he goes and tell her something else until he eventually told her the truth and she chopped his hair off. And now he's in jail blind and he's begging God to give him power one more time so he can destroy the daggone prison. This is what's going on with Biden's laptop. All you got to do is offer him a good time and you can have all the information you want. He ain't misplacing nothing. I done misplaced keys. I done misplaced stocks. I done misplaced a whole lot of stuff, but I've never misplaced my wallet and I lost my wallet and I never lost my phone or my laptop because they're too damn valuable and there's too much information up there that I don't want to get in the hands of somebody else. So I make sure I know exactly where all my, my real stuff is. Losing the keys every now and again, all right, cool. That sucks. You got to go get a new key file, but you're not out of the water. You got a second one. Losing your dad on laptop with all this vital information and now it's in the hands of the wrong people this is what's going on and this is what the american people was thinking because i'm thinking it somebody has somebody has biden by the ball sir this is what i think i'm not i'm not sure but somebody got biden by the balls because he's covering for his freaking son he's covering for his son who's an absolute idiot So whether he's weak or compromised, he needs to go. It's time for him to be out of here. Because now I, everybody thinks we're a joke. And they're right. They are a joke. Look at our election. Isn't that, that's, that's a laughing matter right there in itself. They're complaining about freaking COVID-19, Delta T, all this. Delta, well, not Delta T. What is it? Delta, the Delta variant, all that crap. And they're still talking about this black and white, you know, BLM and the the, 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 the flags. And they do all this. America, uh, if you don't unite now, there, 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 there may not be an America to unite for. Okay, all right. Doesn't matter if you liberal. Doesn't matter if you conservative. Don't matter what trail, what 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 side of the track you're on. At the end of the day, what's going on in Afghanistan is a problem. It's a problem. Okay, our reputation is hanging by a thread as we speak. It's hanging by a thread. Somebody has to answer for this. A trillion dollars gone Countless lives gone More lives about to be gone Somebody has to answer for this You are negotiating with terrorists, sir Well, we hope they do the right thing What? Did that come out? Did that come out of your mouth? Or your party's mouth, I should say It came out of your party's mouth? We hope Was it Nancy Pelosi who said it? I can't remember who said it why would you think the terrorists who are they're itching to take this country over is going to play nice? You, you don't do a mass exodus like this when you are equally matched. Okay, I'm done with this one.